Hey, what is up everybody on the YouTube? This is Chris Lunar Man, and today I am bringing you part two of my Plants vs. Zombies adventure. Um, last time where we left off was the bowling one, so that's where I will start right now. Um, I am... I would like to continue, actually. Uh, right now I am uploading a um, Lucian quadra kill, so I'll probably upload this video tomorrow. I'm recording it on Tuesday, I'll probably upload it on Wednesday, and by then, the Lucian video will be up. I'll save all the explosive ones. But yeah, let's play a few levels of this, and see how far we can get. With some bowling. Maybe we can get to a pretty exciting level that's kind of hard. I'll probably save these two for the end. And hopefully I get the uh, potato mines after this level. Dang it, go the other way. I want to get the double. Go this way, yeah. Oh, how'd I miss? Come on. Oh, I'll use one of these over there. There we go. And one of these definitely needs to go right there because there's two cone heads. Boom. And I've also uploaded a recent Hearthstone video if you want to check that out. Mm, kill this zombie. Yeah, so how was everybody's Memorial Day? Like, what did you guys do? I know in the US, Memorial Day was yesterday. And. Crap, I need to kind of get rid of some of these. But I went I went and floated a river on a canoe with my girlfriend, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, I was pretty worn af out afterward, and I might be a little bit sunburned today, but it was really fun. Uh, we never flipped it. There was a lot of, like, tight parts where you had to maneuver all weird, but we made it out okay. Nobody died. <laughs> I don't think you can die. Yeah, you got the potato mine. I don't think you can die floating a river, but I don't know, maybe you can. Alright, so now I'm I'm about to show you the ultimate plants vs zombies trick. Yeah, my Memorial Day was pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys did on your Memorial Day, if you're from the U.S. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to plant the um, flowers. Alright. And then this will come up. So you just plant the flowers. You put one of these first, like way back here. This way you can accumulate a good amount of sun, and you can usually get your double row of flowers up before the zombies start getting hectic. And then you're just golden. You're you're golden. Cause then you can start putting these things and it's just easy mode after that. Like this will take him out. Another one will come up. I think I'll actually be able to get two with this. But I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, see technically I could wait till that comes up and place another one. I think I will just see what it does. See how it works. Put him right there. And then I'll start putting the pea shooters everywhere else. Now the only way that this will mess up is if another zombie comes right behind him. Um, that'd be a problem because I can't put a pea shooter in front of him because then he won't hit the potato mine. But as you can see, three zombies in all. I already have all my sunflowers. So that's really, really awesome. And I basically win the level. Like, this level's over. I'd have to wait for it to be done. Mm, I'll go ahead and put a walnut. So I don't need any more sunflowers. I do need the pea shooters. I have three rows of pea shooters. Have a row of walnuts. And if if the level lasts long enough, I might put potato mines in front of that. But the level probably won't last that long. Go ahead and put two right there to take care of the cone head instead of putting one right there. Um. And there's the one right there. Now these things can be kind of annoying. They can jump over the walnuts, but if you kill them before that... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put a walnut there. Because I guess you can bait out the jump. Because you want them to jump sooner than like jumping over your defense ones. 
see it now, he's already kind of too close. I'll put that there. Uh, that's not going to do anything. Well, if he destroys this, I'll just have to blow him up with the cherry one. Oh, no, there it goes. Um, so that was kind of not ideal. Let me dig this up. And put a pea shooter right there. And see, now, you ha now I have 275 sun. And put a potato mine right there. Put a third one. Alright, so this guy should die pretty fast now. I don't have to worry about that. Actually, I should have put the pea shooter over there. It'll all work out though. Die, zombie! Put three. Put that. So I need three more and then one of those for my whole thing. And it's about to be the huge wave. I might just do a cherry bomb. Just to make it a little bit faster. <laughs> just having to jump a little bit sooner. There's really no need for that, but... There's really no need for me to put it here anyway, because both of those lanes are empty. Might as well put the last one of that. Ooh, I got the frozen pea shooter. The frozen pea. Snow pea, that's what it's called. Alright. Level, what level is this? Level 1 7? Does it say? No, yeah, it does say it down there. Okay. So now you will see my strategy again. I will, I will show, I will demonstrate it one more time and then I'll probably end the episode. So yeah, just start your sunflowers. It's pretty easy. And then you get your potato mine once you have 25 and you put it to kill the one of the first zombie. And then you have free room to put the rest of your sunflowers. Okay, so now this level, since I have the snow pea, I will probably put the snow pea in this row. And then have two rows of the normal pea shooters. I'm going to see where the next zombie comes up. I might, yeah, I'll put it, I'll put the second potato mine there also. Put right there. And see, now you see I already have 175 um, sun built up. So I think I will put my first snow pea down. I'll do it right here. Ah, oh, I was one lane off. <laughs> Let's see if I can accumulate enough sun to put another snow pea. Yeah, cool. Having two rows of sunflowers already. It's awesome. Alright, I could place a walnut, but I want to save for the other things. So I need a snow pea right here. And if you don't have enough for a snow pea, but... Um, a zombie's in a lane, just put the regular pea shooter there so that you don't like get your sunflowers eaten and stuff. I'm just doing it like this because it's been kind of convenient to where the zombie has not been in the lane without the snow pea, if that makes sense. I think I'll wait and just put the last one of these. Okay, so we have all that. I'll go ahead and put a walnut. Put a normal pea shooter probably in this lane because there's a, um, a cone head and then go from there yo put another one probably right there oh I guess right okay I need to put another one right here for him but I didn't put it behind the walnut because the walnut provides uh, more protection so it's there's really no use to like build up a whole lane and then build your other lanes like if I were to just put all of this lane like two two pea shooters and then the rest just be snow peas that would be pretty unbalanced and they might get through somewhere mm, I'll go ahead and put him right here 
I'm also not putting him on this lane because it seems like zombies are not really coming to this lane. I probably should put one there though. And I mean, you're definitely always welcome to place whatever you want. I'm just kind of OCD when it comes to this game. So I do not want... Like, I could place a snow pea right now, but I've already filled my five spots. So if I put them up here, that'll just be imbalanced. It's, it's kind of weird, but... And I also don't think that you can slow any more than, like, what's what they're already being slowed. So I don't really think there's a need for two slow peas in the same lane, since they only hit the first one anyway. Alright, so now you see this dude's coming up here. I'll place the walnut. I don't think he's going to make it, though, because of the snow peas. Nah, he's definitely not going to make it. I guess I'll go ahead and start putting the potato mines out front, because I, I got extra sun. And if any zombies get to the walnut, they will explode. But I guess you could say this is a basic layout for the snow peas. Um, I don't remember what plant you get next, but um, the plant you get next could replace one of these other rows of pea shooters. Since the pea shooters have just normal normal attack damage, and I think the snow peas also have normal attack damage. I know you get a double pea shooter, so that could definitely replace one of those. They are twice as expensive, you know, because they're double. So I don't know if you'll like that, but... I guess I'm just waiting for this level to end. I can place another potato mine here pretty soon. Place right there. Maybe he'll jump over it. Yup. Looks like he's got a banana peel on his head. <laughs> I'll have to see if any more pop up. Show you again. Call him Banana Head. I like the potato mine's little buck teeth. That's funny. Alright, look at their banana peels on their head. That ain't hair. Zombies don't have hair. Those are banana peels. Yeah, and the, the double sunflower is basically to get a boost at the start because late game or late in the level you don't really need it as you can see I have 1600 sun <laughs> there is a challenge though to get 8000 sun in one thing so ah oh, I love this thing it's the piranha the piranhas are awesome I will definitely use the piranha in my next video I will go to the main menu right now but yeah I um, ended this video on level 1 8 uh, hopefully I can unlock the puzzle and survival I think you gotta do that at the very end, like after you beat all five level or all five worlds. Um, but thank you guys for watching. This has been Lunar bringing you episode two of Plants vs Zombies. See you guys later.